G'day boys, what's going on? It's hot as here and um, just forgive me first if I say something stupid, my brain not, might not be working properly, it's pretty hot where I am. I've wanted to do like this sort of topic of a video for a long time, and I mean a long time, but I had this game like two days ago where it pushed me over the edge of like wanting to make it and I finally just got the footage of a game that was just, it's a bit how's your father. So I figured I'd share it with you guys and um, sort of talk about it. Let's just get this out the way, I'm pretty sure we can all agree on this. The killer's role in this game is to kill no matter, like whatever it takes the killer has to kill and win the game if you want to call it that so i guess most cases you could say a killer killing everyone getting a 4k by any means is a win and i guess in most cases you could call a survivor win escaping so if all four survivors escape that's a win for the survivors and if the killer kills all four survivors well that's a win for the killer and then if it's if two get out it's a draw i guess shit like that so now personally for me that's not really a, a win if I escape a trial, I don't consider that a I don't consider that a win as Survivor. If I'm playing Survivor, getting a good fun killer, uh, a, a fun map, um, good chases where both sides get to make decisions and then react to decisions and then make their next play off that, and then where it's I guess equal on both parts and the killer is actually really fun and engaging and that's what that's what I consider a win. Or perks, if I get three stacks of Metal of Man, that's a win. If I get four stacks of Autodidact, so stuff like that. You know, Beamer saves, if I get some Locker Flashlight saves. I consider that a win more than an escape. But I think we can all agree universally that, generally speaking, a win is all the survivors getting out. And then a win for the killer is the killer getting everyone. That's enough of that. I wanted to get into this game where... And I'm only going to speak on the killer side this game, okay? So, I don't, so survivors, you're not... Survivor means I'm not putting you... You're not out of the woods yet. Like, you guys are just as bad, if not worse. But just this game in particular, I want to focus on killer. Like, how far we really need to go to get a win? Like, what are we What are we giving up? How f Do we have to sell our soul just to get a win? And that's what I want to get at with this this video. So, I've literally talked your ear off already. Let's just jump straight into the foot. We start off on Fractured Cow Shed, as you can see. Because it's like a strong, since the rework, stronger than ever. Probably the strongest of the Rotten Fields variants. Because it was always strong before the rework. So anyway, that's, that's, that's irrelevant. We have a look around. We're not, we're not really a gen guy, to be honest. Most people that know that of me, I'm not really interested in gens. I might say hello to people, but, you know, I'll leave it be. Now, I personally can't do gens. I physically can't get so bored. But I respect the people that do do them. Like Momo, I think, is here. He does them. So we're doing our, um, our blessing. Let's be, let's be straight up. If you're going to play optimally as Survivor, don't even bring boon totems. Just split up on gens, crank them all out and leave. But we kind of want to mess around, do some plays. So we bless some totems. We see that the random has been injured by the artist. So we're going in for a flashlight save because one, it's maybe saving the teammate. Two, it gets us off gens, <laughs> which we hate doing. So we pick up. We squeeze in for a cheeky blind. We actually pull it off, which is nice. <laughs> I'm being a cheeky bugger. I guess most people would say that's so toxic, clicking out the killer. To me, it's just being cheeky. I got a nice flash out save. I'm being cheeky. Even though he, she couldn't see me teabagging because she was blinded. But anyway, so it makes sense that the killer goes back after the person that just got flash out saved. She's injured. Now, straight away, I can tell... I'm in a three-stack swift. And I can tell right here that by the survivor that dropped that pallet she ran to the short side of the loop that just this game i'm not saying in general i'm just saying this game in particular this random survivor is the weak link of the team because i, I know my own skill level and i know my uh swift friends skill level i'm not saying this survivor is the worst of the team i'm just saying in this particular game based on what i've seen i'm saying that this survivor is the least experienced of them all just by that pallet drop and running to the short side of a loop and then dying it doesn't matter it's neither here nor there so the artist is like doesn't want to pick up she's sort of defending the area she knows she can get three you know hit score events and everyone I'll go for an overly optimistic flashlight uh, blind doesn't register but we gave it a crack anyway so it all seems business as usual what's the problem you know we got people on our team on the survivor side, some doing gens, me messing around trying to get saves. And this is where it sort of all just escalates and kicks up a notch. 
I'm gonna go in and get the save myself. She, based on the birds, she's at the hook and she's sending crows off trying to get a crow hits. She's still at the hook, I can see that. Okay, now I figure, okay, I've got a chase started on me. Now it's time for someone else to get the hook and the ace is down because he got crowed. So it has to be the Claudette. I'm getting chased, beautiful. I would like to leave the loot if I can so that someone can go get the save, you know, pace. But it's all good. As long as we're taking aggro. We're sort of greeting this pallet. Now we're trying to move away, but it's not happening. I've right, taken a hit. We think beautiful. She'll chase. Yeah, that's that's overly optimistic. Straight back to the hook. So the <clears throat> that whole time, no one's been able to get the uh, the save. The Claudette picked up the ace. Maybe she should have picked up the unhook survivor, but the. The survivor didn't get rescued, even though... The <clears throat> so the killer was chasing me, got a hit. I figured she'd keep chasing, but she just went straight back to the hook to sort of pressure it so that no one can either... So either no one can get the save or it's a forced 1v1. So now at this point, the whole team is forced to come into the save and she's just, whoa, what a surprise. She's just fucking standing at the hook. And who does she go for? The random who's on death hook now just gets unhooked. Who does she swing at? The random. See how she's at the hook and she's trying to get a grab? And then she doesn't get the grab, so she waits. She doesn't swing at the Claudette. She waits until Michaela is off the hook and then tries to get Michaela. She, I know she ends up hitting the Claudette, but you can see that she waits till Michaela's off the hook before she even goes for a swing, which tells us she wants the Michaela. There's me here, there's the Claudette here. She still swings at the random. I'm literally forced to take... I'm, I'm trying my best to stand in front of the killer so that she leaves the random alone, so she'll chase me instead. But she is just focused and this is what i could never do like i could never it's everyone plays different but i could never personally sell my soul and just tunnel the same person into the ground this person is just hasn't even had a chance to play she's on death hook because no one could get a save on her and as soon as she gets unhooked the moment she gets unhooked the killer ignores everyone else two other survivors in the area just ignores everyone else just to fucking really tunnel this survivor into the ground that's what i can never do i hate seeing it as a uh, survivor when my fellow survivors haven't even had a chance to play and they're just getting fucking pushed into the dirt like she's getting focused out like hard being optimal like i'm not i'm being optimistic and trying to get like a uh flashlight save to no luck i get found which is fair because i've, I've got a flashlight save early in the trial so most likely the killer's going to be on guard no ds from the um from the michaela the random so that's it her game the michaela is done she got chased from the start camped on hook Forced, um, yeah, she got camped on hook. Made it so difficult for the uh, the survivors to get a save, actually. And even when they got the save, the first person that the killer swung at as soon as she came off the hook was the Michaela again. Even though I was there and Claudette was there, she went straight to swing at the Michaela. And even after the swing, I tried body blocking, ignores me just to go for the Michaela again. So we're trying to get a sort of chase happening. We're trying to make her see us and then chase us. But like we know that's never gonna happen. We, She's looking for any reason, honestly, just to go back to the hook. This player, this killer, is looking for any single reason whatsoever to go back to the hook. She can see, she'd see my scratch marks. She would have seen my scratch marks before at main building. She would have seen my scratch marks there. But she's just, is looking for any single reason to go back to the hook. And now, she's camping the hook. And her reasoning could be, oh, well, the, you know, I saw someone trying to go for the save. Now, I'm within my rights to camp the hook. So, we're trying desperate. I don't know what we're doing here. We're just trying to be desperate. We're just trying to get her to just give another survivor a chance to save. But she's, like, not interested. Even after that uh, swing fake, turns around 180, make sure the ace cannot get a save. And even if it's if he somehow pulls off a save on the Claudette, it's a guaranteed one for one, which means the ace is going to go down in return. At this point, I just stand there. I, I don't want to play anymore. I'm pretty sure. I think it's around this point where I just figure I, I don't. I'm not enjoying this. It's. I think she knows we're here. Yeah. 
We don't have iron wool, we're pretty loud. We are 100% dead here, no pallet. Go for a spin, get the old uh, shake. Head shake. Which people will consider being toxic. I just consider being, she's being cheeky, that's cool. I was cheeky to her, she can be cheeky to me. And I was being cheeky to her at the start with the flashlight save, the tea bag. She's just giving me a head shake. I don't consider that toxic at all. I just find it being a bit cheeky. And I think it was here I just uh, I give up on hook because I I don't mind I seriously don't mind losing up, but I really was not enjoying this game and I personally cannot stand this playstyle of killer. That's what I'm sort of referring to uh, as killer in this instance. How when is enough enough? How badly do you need to win the game where you are willing to hook somebody and then make sure nobody can get a save and if they do it's a one for one and if some by some miracle they you mess that up you mess camping up wrong and the um person gets unhooked you as the killer going for that same person again even though there's players around you just ignore everyone else just to focus that one player out again and get her out of the game and then after that the next person you hook just camping them and rinsing repeating where do we draw the line between having fun and and winning you know is there some point in between where we can sort of play and i feel like that's what most players do so this is a sort of an outlier of players that i don't enjoy going against and i think it's it's too far but obviously uh the median is players trying to win get kills like killers trying to win get kills and also being respectable and having like killer etiquette where they're not just playing to this style they're actually engaging with everyone going away from the hook trying to chase somebody else like there's got to be a point in the middle where we can just sort of intertwine both ideas and not just play like this particular killer where it's like okay i found somebody i've hooked you i'm camping you i'm gonna force a one for one and if i don't I'm going to make sure you die on a hook. And if you somehow get off, the moment you get off, I'm ignoring everyone else just to fucking tunnel you into the dirt. And then the next survivor I find and hook, I'm doing the exact same thing again until I win. And the, this, the crazy thing is this isn't even a strong playstyle. If you do that as killer, all the survivors have to do is just let the person die on hook and crank gens and get out. But the problem is, how is that fun from, for any side? How can the killer at the end of the game go, yep, job well done. That was really fun for me. And how can the survivors escape the trial the ones that escape and go yep a teammate died on first hook didn't get a chance to play that was so fun we just sat on gens and left that was just mm. can't wait to do this all over again next game what i'm i guess what i'm saying is the killer got the win like she got the dub but the game this sounds so lame but the game as a whole the health of the game took an l and here's why because we finished this game my swift buddy messages me and he says hey bro next game i'm bringing prove thyself so because of this killer and the way they play in return because my swift powers are getting frustrated they get bring on a, they're gonna bring prove thyself for the next game so the killer that we get next game poor random killer that we get is just gonna get absolutely i hate using this word but it's gonna get absolutely gen rushed and they're gonna be thinking what the fuck did i do wrong why are these survivors just monkeying gens and escaping i'm just trying to have fun kick back play killer what, what did i even do wrong why are they just, why are they playing like this why are they just splitting up playing optimal not messing around, not going for flashlight saves. Why are they just splitting up and doing gens? What have I done? And it's because the killer, sorry sorry to this new killer, but it was the killer before you that played in such a way that has made us as survivors go, man, well, fuck this. Now it's it's like cause and effect because we got this killer who played in this, this shitty way. Now that's going to get transferred on this shit feeling that we just experienced. It's getting transferred on to the next killer. This poor guy is probably just having a chill time. And that just is like a ripple effect. It just goes on and on and on, you know? That killer gets absolutely smoked and the gen just pop, doesn't get a chance to play. And the killer goes, well, fuck, I didn't get a chance to play. I'm just trying to mess around, chill out, play the killer I enjoyed, not be mean. But these guys just bring prove thyself toolboxes, crank the gens. Wow, I'm going to switch killer to someone stronger. I'm going to bring the best perks for the killer. I press the fuck out of these survivors to make sure that the survivors I get have a shit game. And then those survivors that that killer gets are going to be thinking, what the fuck did we do? We're just trying to go for flashlight saves, mess around, have a good time, not do gens, do some boons, maybe do some cool plays. What did we do? Why come this killer's play like this? And then guess what do you think happens again? The survivors, the next game after that? So, sort of rambling on. Um, I don't mind losing. I can admit that this killer got the 4K. Easy. As a whole... The health of the game is what I'm talking about, which is way more important. The overall health of the game has declined because of this playstyle that's getting incorporated. And what I'm trying to say is where is like a killer etiquette? There's survivor etiquette too, but I'm just focusing on killer this video. Seriously, where do we draw the line of having to win so badly that this play, this type of playstyle, you can just go pat on the back, job well done, I got him. Hey boys, before I go, I just want to say, um, if you play Billy or even if you don't and you just give him a go randomly, 
if you get some nice uh, flicks and curves or do some sort of sky billy hit and land a hit on somebody, um, I'll leave my Discord down below if you want to send me the clip because I kind of want to compile a bunch of them together and then out of all the clips I get, pick a winner and then the winner can uh, have a price or something or like a, a billy skin or something. So, hey, if you want to send me your clips, that'd be awesome. I'd love to make a video of just a bunch of billy clips from um, viewers and friends like that. Anyway, my boys, I'm just rambling on. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.